up guys back with another video we are going to go over on how exactly we could fix the is done dot dll error that has been appearing all of a sudden very more often and more common now than normally so the basic ways of fixing it which i just listed off all the all the um all the methods which I've been collecting for a while now and while some methods seem to be very stupid because it's they say it's operating system is the issue like it's specifically Windows 10 that's causing the issue like no it's not it's actually something to do with your computer or with basically with the operating system not communicating with the program correctly which causes the error so what we need to do in order to fix this error is that we need to do, go through all these steps to fix it. All these steps I've listed out for you. So if, if you know how to do if you've done all this, then you might want to resort to another video because I, beyond this point, I don't know. Or use a different installer because I know you're using Codex, um, maybe Blackbox or whatever. Blackbox, they probably have a tutorial on their website on how to fix it. But this is the best way of fixing it that... I've ever had I don't really I don't get my games illegally because I have a Xbox one so I buy all my games so how to fix it first things first you need to disable your antivirus so we're gonna go ahead and load up my antivirus then we're gonna disable it if you're using the same one as me or if you want to use the same one as me basically you just click this and turn that off now if you're using Windows Defender and you don't have an op have an antivirus so we put in defender and then we're gonna go ahead um oh yeah I already have already have it turned off because um, this is what's monitoring my computer so if you want to use this install Bitdefender free edition you can get it in the description bar and then you can click these two buttons and it'll literally turn it off simple as that so download and install is done dot DLL okay so we need to go get is done dot DLL from the website okay um, we're not going to use that reg svr process thing. We're not going to do that. No sir, we we will not do that. Um, you could either get the this version, which is 0 0.5 or 0 0.6. I don't really, really think it really matters what version. But if one version doesn't work for the other, then you might want to you know switch them out. So we're going to call and click on download. And after that, once we get it, we have the file. So the file needs to be extracted right here, and then we're going to make we're gonna copy it we're like control C copy it we're gonna go all the way over to the C drive we're gonna go straight to Windows and then we're gonna go straight to system 32 if you have a 32-bit operating system then I would recommend you put it in here so we click continue and there we go and then we have another folder if you're using a 64-bit version then you go ahead and click it and put it here there we go. Uh, as you know, I put it in both. So I have a 64 bit, but I put it in both anyways. I don't really care. Now, the second, the third part is to run the program as administrator. Now, what does this do? This will give them almost unlimited access literally to just about everywhere. So they should not, the program should not have a problem um, installing, which I didn't even need to download and install as done a DLL to fix that. Um, another method is by changing the folder name of where the program is located. So let's see. Let's see if I can make an example. Um, let's call this folder. And inside this folder, there's a program called. Uh, let's slow up Notepad and make a .exe program file. Damn it! Just give me a second. You don't need to change the program name, you just need to change the folder name. So I'm going to make this program save. So as you can see, I just made an application. Not really, though. <laughs> it's just a text file. So if I try to load it, see? Can't run <laughs> because it's not a real program. <laughs> but um, basically, as you can see, this folder that the, in which the program is located in, we can go ahead and um, put in. Um, Let's see. Rename it like that. It it could, it could be anything. It just can't be the original folder name because for some reason it causes the program to have issues. I don't really know, but that doesn't really make sense to me either. Or 
The fifth method is to move the folder somewhere else if it does to your desktop or wherever you want to put it. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as it's somewhere else. So that's about the last method that is there. If you want more methods or if you need more help and none of these methods work, well, I can scoop up around the internet and see if I can find more methods to fix the is done.dll error. But majority of the reason that this happens is that you might want to, the one method that's not listed on here that I did not include, which I completely forgot, is to reset and reinstall your computer. If you have a Windows 10, this is super simple. Go straight to system. I mean, go to settings. Go to update and security. Sorry, I'm about to hiccup. I'm trying to stop myself. Go to recovery and reset PC. Do a clean wipe. Clean wipe. Do, remove everything. Remove every single file. Have a complete, complete reset. Because this will basically fix it. Or what you can do is that you can put a Windows ISO file into this into your um, and your CD key inside a disk plug it in there and when they ask for your CD key you type in your CD key and then and then that will and have it load up from the BIOS so that you can do a complete reset meaning that nothing will be left inside your computer once you reset it but um just so you know if you need if you don't know whether or not what what type of computer you have you can go into settings whether or not if you have a system you have 32 bit or 64 bit you can actually go all the way down to um, about in here and then you'll see 64 bit right here I have a 64 bit based processor and a 64 bit operating system so that means my computer will be running at maximum performance so this is how you tell what it is oh um, um, if it says product ID, that's not my real CD key. That's just that's just nothing. You're not going to get anything out of that. But anyways, if this video was helpful, hit up like. Um, if you need, if you want to message me or comment, leave a comment saying because I literally get direct feed of every single comment to my phone, so I can like reply back pretty fast. If I don't reply back, then then that means I'm probably sleeping, depending on what time of the day. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys later.